Hi, everyone, and welcome. I'm Kim Croker of Stampin' with Kim Arlene, and I am an independent uh, Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Canada. I live in the outskirts of Vancouver on the west coast of Canada in British Columbia. Today, I'm going to show you a card that I made with Playing in the Rain. It is another fun fold card. You might have figured out I really like fun fold cards. And it uses one of our new products, which is a 12 by 12, um, does, uh, sorry, 12 by 12 white center specialty paper. And I will just show you our card now. Oh, um, yeah, In, information is on my blog and the measurements will be there and the tutorial for the card that I'm going to do will be there. Also, all of the measurements and so on will be noted in the video. So here's the white center specialty paper I'm going to be using as your afternoon. And let me just show you the card. All right, so it is a fun fold. It is a Z fold or Z fold if you're one of our friends from the United States with the rabbit from Playing in the Rain. And this is a thank you card. And as you can see, it folds like that. So this is using Playing in the Rain. This is a cling stamp set. Uh, being on the West Coast here, we have a lot of rain. And I also used um, around the bend, but just for a sentiment, I wanted this to be a thank you card. So I wanted to use the just wanted to say thanks. And I used um, two sets of dies, just part of them. This one is a stylish shapes. I use this one an awful lot. It is really nice. It's got double stitch. So it's, it stitches on both sides of the cut. And I'm also using a new product, which is the Nested Essentials dies. And I'm using two of the rounded rectangles for that. Let's get started. We are going to use a new product called the White Center 12 by 12 Specialty Paper, um, which I really like. It's, it's quite different. Uh, it comes 12 by 12, as I say, and it comes in five different colors, a package of two each, so 10 all together, of uh, As Your Afternoon, Berry Burst, Fresh Freesia, Lemon Lime Twist, and Night of Navy. Now, as the name implies, it has a white center. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to emboss it with the Raindrops Embossing Folder. This is not a 3D embossing folder. It's one of the thinner ones. And so I'll just show you, I'm going to get my big embossing machine. And because it is not a thick one, you use the two plates as you normally would for die cutting. The only thing is you do take out that little thin adapter plate. So I've got my base plate, um, one of the cutting plates, then I'm going to put the paper inside and I'm going to put it at, let's see, sorry, I can't show you this. I'm putting the paper in at an angle. So that's it there. And I want to make sure that I have the Stampin' Up! side up. Now remember when you're using your embossing folder that it should always go fold side first into your embossing machine. And then I'm putting the top plate on as usual, not the gray embossing plate. That's the one that you use for the 3D embossing folders. Okay, so I'm going to put that one through and then the smaller piece. And I'll just show you the sizes that we're using here. And I'll run that through and get it out of the way. Now, once that's done, I'm going to use a sanding block. This is a craft sanding block. I think probably you could use uh, an emery board or uh, just a regular sanding block with a, a fine sandpaper. And I'm just going to rub the, there's two sides, there's sort of a little buffing one and then a sandpaper one. I'm just going to run the sandpaper one over the embossing. And as I do that, you can see that the white center of the paper starts to show. And then I've got some raindrops. Now you could do this with other kinds of embossing. 
um, to have a floral embossing folder or whatever. Okay, so that is those. And that was the raindrops embossing folder. And then I'm going to get a piece of the Navy, Knight of Navy 3 8 inch bordered ribbon. And I just want to put that across near the bottom here and get the blue dots. And I'm just going to put a glue dot at the end of the ribbon. And this is about three and a quarter inches. I usually just put it on where I want it to be and then cut it. And I'll put another glue dot on the other side here. And then I'll use my grid paper to try and get my ribbon going across evenly. All right, and then next we're going to get some pieces of basic white, and these will be our mats for the white center paper. And the larger one is five and three eighths by four and an eighth. And the smaller one is two and five eighths by four and an eighth. And I'm just going to put some seal on the back of my white center paper. And then mat this on the white. And do the same thing with the smaller piece. very interesting when your fingers start sticking to pieces of your card. All right. Now, as I mentioned before, I am using the Playing in the Rain stamp set, and we are going to stamp our rabbit with memento black, tuxedo black ink. And I'm just going to take this, sorry for the bouncing. And while I'm stamping, I'm also going to stamp my sentiment. And the sentiment uh, comes from around the bend. Stamp set. And the cardstock for the rabbit is two and a half, two and a quarter inches wide. Nope, sorry, that's not right. That's the sentiment that I have here, two and a quarter inches by one and a half. And the rabbit was uh, three inches by three and three quarter inches. And I'm going to cut both of these out with dyes, but first I am going to color the rabbit with uh, Stampin' Blends. Now different people have different strategies for using the blends because you do blend them with the dark and the light. I think most people do the light first and then the dark. I do them backwards. I like to get the dark down in the areas that I want to be shaded and then I'll just add the lighter on top of that and mix it in at the same time. I think both methods work well, so whatever works best for you is what you should be doing. Uh, this is As Your Afternoon that I'm using right now. And then I am going to use, uh, for most of the rabbit, Smoky Slate. I like to use the brush end most of the time. I find that it blends better. 
have to be a little bit careful not to push it in really hard. And where the little dark marks are, I usually put some of the dark. And where I think it's shaded at the bottom, I will use the dark. And then this one is the light smoky slate. These rabbits look really cute white also, I think. Okay, and I'm trying to be speedy, which probably isn't the best thing when you're coloring. I should be taking my time and doing a very careful job. Um, I've got a couple of spots on here that I would I'm not happy about. And I'll just see if I can use my color lifter. This wouldn't be a problem if I was cutting it out with a die, but I'm not going to. I am cutting it with a die, but I'm not cutting it with the one that uh, cuts it specifically around the rabbit shape. And I'm going to use a little bit of petal pink in the ears, the lighter petal pink in the ears, and the darker petal pink for his nose. And then I'm going to use some cool party for the puddle. And the dies that I'm going to use, this is a new set of dies called the Nested Essentials dies. And I'm going to use the biggest one. And I'm going to use this one for the sentiment. Now those will fit with my mini embossing machine. When I'm working, I have one of these little dollar store photo magnetic sheets that I try to remember to put my dies on so that I don't lose them. All right, now I'm going to use a little bit of Artist Low Tech, Low Tack, sorry, Low Tack tape to hold this in position. While I cut that, and did that one already. And those are the colors of the blends that I used. I'm sorry, I'm fairly new to YouTube and I do forget to change these sometimes. I'm a little bit behind on showing you what supplies are, but it, I'm hoping that they are helpful to have them there. And there's our nested essentials dies. And I am also going to use the Stylish Shapes dies, which is another amazing die set. It has five squares, six circles, and four banners. So I'm going to use the largest of the circle shapes. And I'll just take that. These are really nice because they're stitched um, on both sides of the cut. So you can have, uh, the, mainly I use this for uh, labels and, and pieces that are stitched around the outside, but you can also use the negative of, of the shape for, uh, if you want something like this, I'll just show you with the hole a little hard to see, but if you want to do a cutout on a card, then there's stitching around this part as well. I'm going to be using this one here and tossing that. 
All right, now it's pretty much putting all of this together. And we're going to use a card base. This is a fun fold card, as I mentioned. We're going to use a card base of Knight of Navy, which is 11 inches wide by four and a quarter inches tall and um, folded, scored, sorry, at five and a half and two and three quarters and then folded into a Z fold like that. So now it's just a case of putting these all together. Start with the front. And then inside. Making sure the raindrops are at the top. I didn't even think about that. I should have been a little more careful. Luckily, I did it the right way. And let's have a thin margin. So we have that. I'm going to add the sentiment with mini dimensionals. And put that near the top left of the front of the card. I want to see a tiny little margin of the Azure Afternoon there. And then we're going to take our rabbit and put him onto um, a piece of navy that's two and a half inches wide by three and a quarter inches tall. Well, that's funny. It didn't look like it was big enough all of a sudden. We did a stamp camp today on the Darling Details uh, bundle. It was fabulous. Uh, we're continuing it tomorrow. Um, keep it in mind for something in the future. Uh, this is, uh, we're in Canada, but um, you are able to get the tutorial version and the Facebook Live version from elsewhere. If you are interested, you can sign up for my newsletter and hear about future events. I'm going to put uh, three dimensionals down the left hand side of this and I don't think I'm going to be able to do maybe two tiny ones a little closer in. And it's less than half that I'm uh, covering or less than half that's going to be uh, attached to the left hand side because I want to leave a little bit of room for that sentiment. I don't really want them right super close together. So just going to tuck that under a little bit. Good. And then that's our fun fold. Now for the inside, I've got this uh, stitched circle from the Stylish Shapes Stitched Circle. A bit of a tongue twister. And that will be where the sentiment can be written. And I just want to make sure it's sort of like it in the middle of here, but I don't want it to be showing. I think that's good. There we go. And then the last thing I've got for that is the Tinsel Gems 3-pack. This is a, a new embellishment that we have. Uh, there's three different colors there, the Misty Moonlight, Fresh Freesia, and Lost Lagoon. Yes. And I'm just going to pop three of those on. I'll we'll take two of the little ones. And one of the larger ones over on this side that made me think about the, the, the blends and I can't really see that. So there is the card. Pretty quick to make. Uh, it's kind of cute and I really love the raindrops. The white center paper is uh, quite a unique specialty paper. And um, 
anyway, I hope you like that. Okay, I hope that you like that card and that you will maybe give it a try. I have my blog address here and all of the information, measurements, more photos, etc. are in the blog if you want to check that out. Now I did want to mention one more thing. Um, Stampin' Up! is right now having a sale on 13 select designer series papers. There's 15% off until June 30th, 2023. If you live in Canada and you don't currently have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to help you out. There's a shopping link below. And if you shop and use my current host code, you will get a gift from me in the mail. If your order is over $200, though, don't use the host code because you'll get some really good uh, things from Stampin' Up! as rewards instead. Okay, now I hope that you will subscribe if you found this video interesting or helpful or useful and uh, be sure to subscribe and to sign up for notifications and i hope to see you again soon thank you bye